Hey guys, so today is going to be my July beauty favorites. Um, I didn't have like a ton of favorites this month, but I didn't do a favorites last month in June, so I wanted to make sure that I got one up for this month. So yeah, I will just get right into it. I guess I'll just start off with makeup products. So the first product that I have been loving in July is the Urban Decay Chill Makeup Setting Spray. Um, I showed you guys this in a haul recently. It just looks like this. Sorry, it's like my lights are really bright, but um, this is what it looks like. And basically, Urban Decay and Scandinavia teamed up to make a setting spray, and they came up with this Chill Setting Spray. It says that it's cooling and hydrating, oil-free, paraben-free, um, and temperature control technology. I really like it. I think it's a great setting spray. I have noticed my makeup has been lasting longer with it. I just like the way it feels when I spray it on my face and it kind of just like blends all my makeup together. I don't really know how to describe it. It does have like a chilling effect on your face like when you spray it on but it's, it feels really nice. I don't know if you have oily skin if this would be the best thing because I do think that it is pretty hydrating and I have dry skin so um, if you have oily skin and you've tried it, definitely let me know how it worked out for you. But for me with dry skin, um, it's worked out amazingly and I really, really like it. Next product, please don't kill me guys. Like, please don't kill me, but I was really wrong about a product. And that is the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Plus Foundation. Um, it just looks like this. And I talked about this in my Products Not Worth the Hype video because a lot of people loved this and I purchased it and I really didn't like it. And I really just didn't give this foundation enough of a chance, I think. I only tried it about maybe three times and then thought that I hated it and then just never touched it again. Um, but then I kind of like looked back on other people's tutorials using it and stuff like that and I really just think that I wasn't applying it right and that's why I didn't like it. With this foundation you do need to use more foundation than you usually do um, and I think that was my main problem. I wasn't using enough of it and I wasn't applying it correctly and that's why I didn't like it. I am going to do a full review on this very soon for you guys and kind of explain to you what how I think the best way to apply it is and everything like that but I was wrong about this product and I have used it a lot in July and I do really like it so I would recommend this product. Um, I just really didn't give it enough of a chance in the beginning but I do really like it now. The next product that I have been loving in July I also mentioned in a recent haul and that is the Dermablend Concealer. It is their Quick Fix Concealer. Um, I got it in the color medium and It's Wandy always talks about this concealer um, and I never really went out and tried it and then I saw it when I was out and I was like you know what I'm gonna try it because I needed a concealer um, I use this not as an under eye concealer but as a concealer for any blemishes or redness on my face and it has worked really really well so far so I've been using it literally like every day in July and I really really like it the next product that I have used literally every day in July is my Revlon Photo Ready um, translucent powder it just looks like this and I do use this to set my under eye I've said it in previous videos, but it does leave a slight white cast on the skin, so I would not use it all over your face. But for your under eyes, I think it's amazing because that like subtle little white cast really brightens your under eyes, which I personally like bright under eyes. So yeah, I've really been loving this. It's amazing. It has completely replaced my bare minerals, my bare minerals well rested, which I um, used to always swear by for underneath my eyes. I just really love this, and it's a lot cheaper. So yeah, totally love this stuff. Um, and would definitely recommend it to set your under eye concealer if you like a bright eyed look. The next makeup product is actually the lipstick that I am wearing today and it is this Wet n Wild lipstick in Don't Blink Pink. It's just a super bright um, like neon-y fuchsia type color. I just think it's great for summer on those days when you kind of want to do you know more of a brighter look. I put a picture of me with this bright pink lip on my Instagram and a lot of you guys liked it and were asking about the color and stuff so yeah it's just Wet n Wild don't blink pink and you know the best thing about wet n wild lipsticks is they are so so pigmented and so so cheap like this was literally 99 cents or I think their regular lipsticks are 99 cents but this one since it's like matte and it's like in the fancier packaging I think it was like $1.29 but still super cheap so even you know a lot of times when I buy super bright colors like this one I'll only buy like cheap ones just because like it's not something I'm going to be wearing every day like with my nudes or whatever I'll go to MAC but for this I'm not going to wear it every day. I like to not spend a lot of money on it, but Wet n Wild's products really are like really good, but they're still cheap, so I would definitely recommend this. Next product I think I might have mentioned in my last favorites video, but I wanted to mention again just to reiterate how amazing it is, and that is the L'Oreal Carbon Black Liner Intense Liquid Liner. Um, it just looks like this. You guys have seen me use this in like a ton of my tutorials and stuff. This is what I use as my liquid liner. I totally love it. It is so black. 
it's very easy to use and you know to get into small little spaces it's just amazing I totally love it um, if you guys want me to do a full review on this and like a little tutorial on how I use it I can definitely do that so just let me know in the bottom bar but I really love this product I think it is by far the best liquid liner I've ever tried and then my last like beauty favorite for this month is the Beauty Blender. You guys also have seen me use this in a ton of my tutorials. I've literally done my makeup with the Beauty Blender pretty much every day. I have not been using my Sigma Flat Top Kabuki at all this summer. Um, I think just because the Beauty Blender is amazing for the summer, just because it really makes your foundation application very lightweight, which is great for summer because you don't want to feel like you have a mask on or your makeup feels like heavy on your face and the Beauty Blender just totally relieves all of that and I really, really, really just love the Beauty Blender. It blends out your makeup, your foundation, your concealer, everything flawlessly and I literally just love this little guy. I have one hair favorite for this month and that is my little blonde donut thing. I got mine at Claire's which is just a store in my mall, like an accessory store. I know you can get these at Sally's, um, a bunch of places, but I've even seen them at a couple drugstores. Um, like Conair makes them now and stuff like that, but I have been doing a sock bun so much recently um, just because it's summer and a lot of times to have my hair down like this is like, it's way too hot. So I literally have gotten so much use out of this and it just makes making a sock bun so much easier. I know it's just easy to, you know, cut the toes off of a sock and do it, but with this it's just easier because it's more structured and it really like holds your um, bun in better. Like I don't even really need to use any, um... I don't even need to use bobby pins when I use this because it really just like holds my hair in. So I love this and I've gotten a ton of use out of it in July because it has been very hot here in New Jersey. And my last favorite for July is a perfume and that is the Michael Kors Very Hollywood Perfume. I've had this for a while but um, I just never really used it all that much and then recently I've been going to it so much. It just smells so nice. Like I love the way it smells. Super fresh. Great for the summer. Um, I just love this. So, sorry that you guys can't smell it, but um, I always feel weird talking about perfumes because it's not like you guys can smell them, but this is just a great scent for summer. I really, really love it, and I have been reaching for it very often this summer. So that is it for my July beauty favorites. Let me know down in the comments what your favorites were for July because I love to try out new things and see what you guys are liking. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!